Point one, culpable homicide. The sentence imposed is the maximum imprisonment of five years. This was the moment that Oscar Pistorius learned his fate. A five-year sentence for killing Riva Steenkamp in his home on Valentine's Day last year. But he could be out of prison and under house arrest as soon as next summer. It's a sentence the prosecution is now appealing. For every day of the seven-month-long trial, Reva's parents, Barry and June, were in court. With every witness, every detail, they relived the horror of their daughter's death. Now, having written a book about Reva and the man who killed her, June Steenkamp has spoken to me, and I began by asking her how it still affects her every day. Well, I haven't really had much of a time to be by myself and Barry as well, you know, to kind of do any mourning whatsoever because there's been something in my face every single day. And I promise you that's the truth. You said in your book you wake up most nights yeah. dreaming of Reva. Is that still the yes, case? Yes, always dreaming of her. And how's Barry, your husband? Because he's had his own yeah. health problems, of course. He's, he's actually, you know, people ask you, are you feeling better? You can never feel better. And it's better to realize that you are never going to feel better. Because it's, it's silly to think you're ever going to get over this. We could never get over this. Are you coming to some sort of closure about it, though? No, there is no closure. If Reva could walk through that door now, there would be some kind of closure, but she's never coming back. When you do think about her, when you do find yourself dreaming about her, what are you thinking about in particular? Well, how much I miss her, you know. It's a reality now. But it's a reality. Because when she became involved with Oscar Pistorius, he was a man that you never heard of before. No, I never heard. I didn't know who he was. What do you make of his previous achievements then, now that you do know who he is and what he'd done in well, the past? Well, I'm sure that he, he's, he's suffered a lot to, you know, to overcome such a lot, even from the time he was born. I understand that. But that's got nothing to do with killing someone, has it? that kind of pales into insignificance because he's killed my daughter in a horrendous way. As the situation stands, you're preparing for your second Christmas without Reva. This is, this is yeah, well, the second Christmas without her. This time next year, Oscar Pistorius could be preparing for Christmas and enjoying it with his family. Yes, but I've got no in really interest in that. No? No. Well, what, what, I, I, I've forgiven him in a Christian way, but I won't forget what he's done. I can't believe that anybody could have hurt her. She was just that kind of wonderful person, and, you know, no one deserves to die like that. Tomorrow, the prosecution bring their appeal yes. against his sentencing. Yes. What are you hoping for? Well, that's absolutely got nothing to do with me, and that's not going to change my life, is it? How is it going to change my life? I was just happy when I saw him going down those steps and being locked up and all his luxuries taken away because it's a punishment for what he's done and he has to pay for what he's done. But instead of serving years as he was sentenced to, he could serve just months. And we don't know yet, do we? We don't know. We That's don't. The thing. But would you like him so to serve I, longer? I, no, but I would like, there's pieces of the puzzle missing. I'm not happy with the concept of this all being an accident. I think there's more to it that only he knows and my daughter knows and my daughter's not here anymore. If you're to get to what you see as the truth, how could you get to it? Would it involve having to meet Oscar Pistorius? I don't know. You know, I just think that uh, God works in strange ways and I think that sometimes things become uncovered especially when you start delving. Even this appeal has kind of uh, brought it in a new direction and that maybe we, we can learn something else about what really happened. Because you have received some money from Oscar Pistorius. Yes. But you're going We're to going pay to that back. We're going to talk about the money again. But are you going to pay that straight back straight, to him? Straight. I don't want any of his money. Because that, it's like almost a payment for the death of my daughter. I, I can't sit easily with that. 
Without in mind, June, as well, do you think you will ever have any contact with Oscar Pistorius? If he wanted to talk to you, if after he came out of prison he wanted to speak to you, would you listen to him? I've thought about it, you know, but the only reason I would want to tell him is to let him see what he's really done to us. That's all. Nothing further than that. You don't think he realised that in the courtroom? No, I think he's only worried about himself. He's, he's been very spoilt because he's been famous, he's been, people have idolised him. So I think it's, it's got nothing to do with missing Reva or anything to do with Reva. He's just worried about himself.